see what I can do here. Boom, that should help right there. Okay, here we go. <laughs> we figured it yes. out. Get yes, it. I love when this happens. How, how are you? <laughs> I am so fantastic, you know, even in the midst of this chaos, like I am, I honestly, nothing's changed over here, really. I mean, I've already been kind of working at home, already been doing my thing, already been building on social media. So, I mean, another day, another dollar, right? How are you doing? Over well, you know what? I was good until yesterday. So, uh, we're scheduled to get married on the 30th of March in Russia, because my, oh, my fiance is Russian. So, we're in Dubai now, hence the lobster rouge forehead after today in the sun. Uh, self-isolating, right, in, in Dubai, which there could be worse places to do that. Yeah. Anyway, wake up yesterday morning to a text message that says the Russians have closed their borders for all foreigners. Uh, so I've had to cancel my wedding. Uh, which is just, like, great news. Uh, but you know what? Like, there's worse people, there's people in worse situations than I am, so I'm not going to moan about it too much. Um, mm. But, yeah, it's kind of crazy. You know, right. been a crazy few days. It seems like it's, you know, in one way or the other, it's affected just about everybody, you know? Yeah. And like the sickness aside, I mean, just our everyday lives are absolutely disrupted. And one thing we do got left here is our businesses and how we can build them on social. So I think we can talk about that today and maybe shed some light for people that maybe have no idea what social media, you know, the power that it has behind it and what we can do right now to, to build something, you know, and uh, what better person I have here to share this call with, uh, because, you know, I'm gonna tell you when I first started stalking you, <laughs> I first noticed that um, you call yourself the ninja networker. Yeah. Or the ninja marketer or whatever. And I used to call myself this and I said, no way, there's two of us like, I need to see what this guy's all about. So then I started looking at your post. I'm like, actually, actually, this is one of the very few like social media trainers out there that actually can show you evidence that they know anything about social media. You know, we see, I mean, I'm just saying, but we see a lot of trainers out there that are teaching us how to get social media and shares and all the stuff and crickets on their page. So right, right away, I'm like, okay, I can talk to this guy. He knows. He knows what he's doing. You, right. you know how it is when you see a post and like, I, I know a lot of people who are watching this are going to get the same thing. Um, having a British accent gives you instant bonus points, by the way. <laughs> like if, guys, if you can put it on, just try it uh, because it works gloriously. Um, so I saw a post the other day and it made me cringe. And it was like, uh, hey, everyone, like drop me a comment if you want me to send you like my social media tips like on how you can build your business from home in these times. And there was one comment and two likes. And I was like, oh, and this is from someone who's <laughs> teaching social media, right? And I'm like, oh, do I comment and like just to help them out? Uh, like, I don't, I don't know, but there's so many, many of that. And it used to be my biggest frustration when I was in the field, just people, you know, teaching stuff that they don't, they don't do themselves. And I think that's one of the things of being a good mentor like yourself is that you teach what you actually do yourself as well. Um, so I'm, I'm grateful for what you do. I'm grateful for what you've created. I'm grateful for you to putting this on together and I'm grateful for you inviting me on and sharing it with you. It's, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, that's, that's how I choose people to follow. You know, I look at their background, like show me, show me some documentation before I just trust you because I'll tell you early on in my network marketing career, I was the person that paid for every course. Like I, I, I you know, I signed up for all the training. I, I did all, all the classes and, and I wasn't really getting anywhere. And when I, and it, and it, you know, the aha moment was for me was to look at the results of the people who are teaching me. So, you know, again, I'm so grateful that you're on here today to, to, to shed some light on this powerful tool we have in front of us. You know, some of us literally think right now that they are being paid to promote coronavirus. Literally. I don't know if that's, what is happening here or what 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 are we getting out of this i don't know but let's redirect our awareness and our attention to something that we actually have control over you know yeah. i've never seen so many network marketers go from this is my business this is my opportunity here's my products to news mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. and you, you know what the funny thing is right so i've been around the industry my entire life 
And there are three moments that I remember so clearly when I studied the industry. Number one was September 11, which was just horrible. Every, again, everyone says, everyone remembers where they were um, on that date. And obviously the markets crashed, like people's emotions crashed, like everything crashed. Network marketing took a little dip, but soon after the dust settled, the markets were still crashing. Network marketing started to flourish. The second one was the global financial crisis. Everything was crashing, the housing market, the stock market, everything. Network marketing took a little dip. And then as soon as the dust settled, everything else was still kind of crashing down. Network marketing went on a rise. So right now, we're in this panic where a lot of people just are not looking at opportunities. They don't think they're looking at opportunities because they're more worried about like, oh, my kids are going to in school and how am I going to look after them at home? And, and da, 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 there's so much noise in their head. But as soon as the dust settles in a couple of weeks, it is on. Like yeah. it is on big time because people are going to go, oh, uh, I ain't letting this happen ever again. That stay at home thing, that work from home thing that you guys were talking about, maybe it's the right time for me to check it out. So social media, top tip, go and give a lot of love to expect a lot of love back. Go and get your phone and just go 20 a day. Hey, hey, Bob, just want to let you know I'm sending good vibes to you and your family. Hope you keep keeping safe thinking about you. Bang. Hey, Mary, just want to let you know I'm thinking about you and your family. Hey, Sarah, did it. Just go give it and then just follow up with all those people you audioed, you know, in like in a week's time, two weeks' time. I'm not saying put your business on hold. I'm not telling you that at all. Just think, I'm just telling you, this is what's going to happen. When the dust settles, it's go, it is go time, big time. And you just, you, you guys are all positioned nicely with that. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. It's, it's an amazing time. It's, it's a scary time, but it's an amazing time to be a network marketer. It just is. Yeah, and you know, I think that there's a difference too besides taking advantage of people who are trapped in their homes right now and <laughs> versus planting seeds, right? So the right thing to do is either you, we're on a rescue mission, you know, in a way we're, we're reaching out to these families that are like, oh crap, I have no plan B, you know, but at the same time, we're not here to take advantage of that situation either. And you know, one thing we did as a company, just company-wide is we made it free for anybody to enroll. Because wow. we understand, we understand, we get it, you know? Come on. Yeah. That's, am that's amazing. And you, you said that about, about planting seeds. I've always, I was always told that reader, sorry, leaders are readers. And I was like, yeah, no, I'll kind of go with that. But I don't really read enough books. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I've probably written more books in the last year than I've actually read books in the last year, uh, which is kind of a bit of a stupid thing to say as an author, right? Like, you know, but... I believe leaders are seeders, like you just said. But the problem is people think the day you plant the seed is the day you eat the fruit. And it's not, you guys, you guys, you plant the seed today, you eat the fruit in a week, in two weeks, in four weeks, in five weeks and stuff. And the same in social media. Like you're planting seeds, you're putting content out there. I mean, you and I were talking like how you would put some content out there and then like nothing, 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 bang. And then one would just explode. It would go viral and you'd get all these thousands of thousands of thousands of followers and then people fall in love with it, people buy from you, blah, blah, blah. Um, it doesn't just happen from one post, you know? Um, right. I mean, there's a lot of trial and error, right, up until that point. You yeah. Know, so, but let's talk about that. So let me, yeah. let's start from the beginning, right? Okay, so let's say our audience today. Now, the majority of people watching this are going to be network marketers. I mean, for obvious reasons because of you and because of me but let's say that we've got some people that maybe are new to the industry or maybe highly considering it and have zero roadmap no clue of how they're going to do this and their only option literally is social media right now so what what advice do you have for people that are brand brand new and they've only used their social media as just a platform to share family photos and things that normal people do that aren't network marketers right <laughs> um how, how can we kind of help them shift into now it's a business tool and what kinds of things, you know, should they be doing? So the fit, I'm going to start with something that you shouldn't do. And again, this is just my opinion. I've, I've told people around the world this. I don't believe you should put on, Hey everyone, I've just joined an amazing company with some amazing products. You're all going to absolutely love them. Here's a link. Like, because you, I mean, you can go ahead and do that. You might get sales, but you don't know who's clicked that link. You don't know who's taken an interest. You just, you just don't know. So why not decide with your upline, go to the person who introduced you to the business and say, hey, could we go live together 
from my profile tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Yes, absolutely great. Then use Zoom, StreamYard, BeLive.tv. Create a scheduled kind of appointment or event on your personal profile where both of you are going to be live, like, like what me and Jenna, do, Jenna are doing right now. And then go and reach out to a handful of your friends and say, hey, Bob, can I count on you? Dot, dot, dot. Right? They reply, yeah, sure. Everyone says, yeah, sure, when you say that. If someone says to you, depends what it is, they ain't a friend of yours. Right? Just to let you know, you can mark that down. This is not a friend of mine. Right? Can you count on me? I'm, I'm launching something super exciting at 8 p.m. with one of my friends over in the U.S. Can I count on you to be there to support me? That's it. Here's, here's the link or here's the post on my profile. You can schedule it so people can actually see it ahead of time. I, that is personally how I would, actually, I would actually launch on social media. I would announce it to the world publicly, but through an interview with someone who introduced me so that we can talk about, so why did you get involved? What made you say yes? What are you excited about? What are you looking to get from the products that you, 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 you've joined? But you're conditioning people to go into the messenger and invite people properly. Don't give the game away, right? Don't give the game away and say, like, hey, by the way, I've just got involved in this amazing product. It involves this, 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 and this, and this. This is how much it is. Do you want to join? Like, no. Have a conversation around it because people buy from conversations. It's like if you go watch QVC or whatever it's called in America. I don't actually know what it's called. I think it's QVC, though, uh, where they, they have a conversation about the product. You know, they sell, but they have to do it through a conversation. Um, and yeah, that, that's personally what I would do. Like, whether you're new, you've been around network marketing for years, or, you know, you just want to relaunch your business, I'd get an interview with someone, you know, and just, just sort of talk about the journey and, and what you're excited about. That's what I'd do. Yeah, and you know, I think there's, there's a lot of weight with that, because if you think about it, if you are announcing right off the bat, you're giving everybody all the information on your page, then they can quickly decide with that limited information that they have, Yes or no, right? So you're gonna get some yeses, not as many as you will get if you maybe present yourself in a real fashion, like on a video. But you're, you know, most people are gonna say, eh, nah. It sounds like everything else, right? Oh, they just joined one of those deals, nah, pass. You know, especially because if you are new to network marketing, I mean, this may be the cold hard truth, but but you're not the expert yet. You just joined, right? So the best thing you can do is leverage somebody that maybe is an expert so that you have more credibility in bringing the expert in versus saying, oh, by the way, I'm a new network marketer today. Yesterday I wasn't, and I have all the answers. Join my team. I'm going to help you become a millionaire. Lies. <laughs> lies on top of lies. We can see through that. So how about no? Let's just do things the right way and leverage somebody that's already had documented success so that you can say, look, I'm new. I don't know. Do you want to be new with me and also not know until we figure out what this person's going to teach us, right? And, and that, that makes it way more believable to your warm audience who's seen you grow up or they've seen you in other aspects of your life where they've, they've seen you broke, right? They've seen you struggling before. Now, all of a sudden, you're a super successful online millionaire in one day because you joined network marketing. Please don't try to do that. Like being Go authentic ahead. is going to get you so much further and leveraging yeah the upline i think is is key but i, I, th I think that that's the thing like we talk about video and a lot of people go like <gasps> yeah. I, I, I can't i can't do video like, no, no, no. okay well as you said leverage someone who has done video and just get more comfortable it's, it's more comfortable when there's two of you on a screen uh just because you you can kind of pull the information out of like oh my god i'm live i'm live i'm like <laughs> oh my god auntie susan's on like, oh, no, what's she going to think of me doing this? Like, oh, hey, Auntie Susan, <laughs> you know? And you're, you're pulling the right information out. Um, so it, 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 just, it just helps. Um, people have got to get out of the comfort zone as well. Like, you know, being comfortable is boring. Well, you know, and all, especially right now, while we're all locked in our houses and we're going to get, we're going to watch everything on Netflix. We're going to be over that. We're going to watch everything on, you know, all these streaming channels. We're going to be sick of that. So guess what? Guess who's the new entertainment? It's whoever's going live in your Facebook feed because that's a new episode every time. And I love how you call your lives episodes because literally you have your own Netflix channel right in front of you. Make use of it. Create entertaining content for people that's going to pull them in because, you know, what? they're sitting around. Maybe not the third day, maybe not the fourth day, by the fifth, sixth, seventh day, 30th day they've been at home. 
They're going to be like, man, I just wasted all this time. I could have been making money like Jen or like Frazier. I could have been building something so that I would never even have to go back to work if I didn't want to. Right? There you go. So that's it. That's it. Like, that's it. Let's okay. go. Like, just press that button, go live. You, the, at, at first, you're going to be the worst. Your first one is the worst one. But document it, because I'm telling you this, one day you'll be able to stand on stage at, like, a company event that Jenna puts on or whatever, right? And you'll be able to go, this was me three years ago when I did my first live. And everyone in the audience, it'll be so bad, everyone in the audience will just go, that is just fantastic. Like... And that is documenting your journey. I can't believe I actually stood up on a Zoom. That was a bit awkward. But, um, documenting your journey and appreciate that you're, you're going to be inspiring people by your own transformation. Inspiration comes from your transformation. It also comes from your progression. Don't be perfect because that's not relatable and that's not inspiring, right? It's not. But transforming is what's going to provide the inspiration and I just, I'm so excited for those of you who haven't yet started to do this because it's a game changer, it really is. Yeah, and the other thing too, I mean, on that point, um, you know, the people that you're prospecting to, they're not experts either. If you show up day one, you're a professional and you're like rolling out a professional webinar and you're like amazing speaker. Now, if you are, great for you. However, yeah. if you're not, if you're just average at this, right, and you're new at this, that's fine because you're speaking to everybody else that's never done it also. And now they're thinking, I could do that. Right? I could do that. You're giving like, them a belief within themselves. That's it. A lot of it is belief. It's leveraging other people. It's leveraging other people's belief and vision um, and just excitement. You know, in order to go far, far is an acronym. You've got to get good feeling, good activity, good results. It all starts with the feeling that you have um, and you have to leverage that from other people. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. So, let's shift, let's shift a little bit into kind of how we build a little bit. Um, I know when you ask me, because I'm asking you, I'm you know, interrogating, you're really like, I want to, let me see your credentials, Frazier, <laughs> right? Uh -huh. But you asked, me the same, you asked me the same thing. You said, how did you get your following? Like, you know, yeah. what, is this, what is your story here also? And I told you straight off the bat, you know, it's all about my audience. You know, it's just matching my message to my audience. And you said, well, you told me that, uh, what'd you say? People uh, in your neck of the woods, like acronyms, and you started educating me on an acronym that you had for the thing that I was talking about. So without further ado, will you please educate us on the MATE acronym and how yeah. people can leverage these, uh, this method in their social media business? So, so I'm going to tell you a secret, guys. Um, and I, I'm going to trust you guys enough. I know it's recording. I know there's a bunch of you on. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust you guys to keep this a secret. Okay? Um, so here... <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm completely trusting you this. Like, let's go. So where I'm from a place called Liverpool, right? Uh, and the UK, over in America, you guys say like, dude, man, buddy, uh, like all these cool things, right? You all sound like surfer dudes who just are like the super coolest people on the, on the planet. In the UK, we say pal or mate. So, hey, mate. Like, how you doing, mate? Do you want to go to the pub later, mate? See you tomorrow, mate. I use it quite a lot. And the reason for that is, and I'm telling you the secret now, I meet so many people face-to-face -face and online that honestly, I forget about 90% of their names when I see them for the second time. So I don't do the trap. Your name was Brian, right? No, it was Derek. Oh, I don't do that. I'm like, hey, mate, how are you doing? Right? It's kind of like my little like secret, you know, it's because I don't remember the name. But the word mate, right? If we break it down, it's M-A-T-E. The M stands for message. The A stands for audience. The T stands for timing. And the E stands for engagement. When you get the right message in front of the right audience at the right time, you will get the engagement. So Jenna has put a message out there. Guess what Facebook do? they generate the audience to begin with, right? So all the people who have, like, maybe she talks about a dog, right? I'm just using this as an example. She talks about a dog. Do you like dogs, by the way, Jen? I, I love dogs. You love dogs? Yeah. Really? Th does yeah. everybody love dogs? There's something wrong with you if you don't, I think. I, I completely agree with you. <laughs> so Jenna does a post about dogs. Guess what Facebook are going to go? Oh, there's a great post about dogs. 
there's the post. Go and have a conversation about it. If there's no conversation around it, ah, we'll keep it on the timeline for a little bit. If there's a big conversation about it, we'll keep it on the timeline as long as you want. Now, when the right time comes along, so people kind of keep seeing Jenna's posts, oh, great dogs, great dogs, oh, I like this, it's nice, it's nice, but they don't actually engage. After them seeing it a few times, they go, you know what, this woman is my kind of woman, I'm going to go engage on it. So just because you make one post and the right person sees it, doesn't, still doesn't mean that they're going to engage in it, right? Still doesn't mean that. So your goal, in my opinion, is to be like the popular movies out there. So let's say I go around to Jenna's house and her and her husband are like chilling out. It's like, hey, you know, we're having five minutes off because we're hustling the rest of the time. We're going we're gonna to put the start of a movie on. Like, do you want to watch a movie? I'm like, yeah. What type of movie do you want to watch? I will say either, oh, an action movie, a romantic movie, maybe not a romantic movie in that setting, uh, a crime movie, a drama movie, an adventure movie, a sci-fi movie. I'm not going to go, oh, I'd really like to watch a horror, romance, action, comedy, documentary, biography, adventure, sci-fi, thriller, please. Like, it's one or two things. It's like action or action romance or crime. It's one or two things. So you need to put a message out there, which is, one or two, one or two things, because the more you do that, I mean, I talk about social media, network marketing, a bit of, throw a bit of positivity in there, right? And then my whole following is built around the message I put out there. People don't like network marketing. Guess what? They ain't following me. And if they are, they're just a confused supporter, right? They're not a hater. They're just confused supporter. So that's what I do. Message, message, message. The right audience comes to me. They keep seeing it, seeing it, seeing it, seeing it. Timing hits, bang, engage. They engage, guess what I do when they engage? I connect with them and they actually become a mate of mine. Um, and that's, that's kind of how, how it works. Um, it's, it's very simple, but a lot of people just overcomplicate it because they think, what will other people like to see that's going to make them go, ooh, I'm going to engage in this. Screw that. What do you want to post about? and What do you want to be known for? I know you've done that. You've done that over the years. You've just gone, I believe in this. Bang, deal with it. If you don't like it, don't have to follow me, right? Yeah. And that's why you have a gigantic following. Like, yeah. there's no secret to it, right? Yeah, well, you know, it, when I first started network marketing, you know, my coaches would tell me, all right, so never post about these topics here, you know, don't, don't post politics, religion, nothing controversial ever, right? <laughs> if you have a big opinion, you're going to piss a lot of people off, right? This is what I was coached. And I thought in my mind, how about I only hang out with people that agree with me? <laughs> like, if I build my following based on like-minded individuals, I will be their spokesperson and they will love it, right? If I go into these other little neck of the, you know, dens on Facebook where they're just completely opposite-minded, I'm going to get slammed, right? I'm going to be hammered. This is exactly what happened to me as I was learning social media. On Twitter, I was so famous, right? Yeah overnight really and I was posting one kind of thing to one kind of audience all the time I tried the same message on my Facebook page crickets absolutely nobody wanted to engage in fact I was just making people angry to be honest so <laughs> I couldn't understand why is Twitter favoring me over here and you know I would literally it got to the point where I would take screenshots of my Twitter and pull it over to Facebook just to show people how cool I was like hello do you guys see how cool I am <laughs> like why are you not liking my post? And it, you know, until I had my aha moment, which was okay on Twitter, I've got a very targeted audience, right? And on Facebook, what's the first thing Facebook does when you sign up for your account? It says, do you, do you want to sync the contacts in your phone? Yeah. Ah, that can be so dangerous. If you think about it, you know, you've got your, your ex wife, your ex husband, or whatever you got your, your son's volleyball coach from high school. You got your, like Pilates instructor from three years ago, like there's everybody in there, right? And now how do you know they want to hear what you have to say? So when you are thinking to yourself, what can I post that they're going to like? Do you even know who you're talking to? Because if you don't, you better take inventory of who's following you before you craft the crafty message, because it could be a completely wrong message for the people that are following you. You know, and I tell my people all the time, you guys need to give your Facebook page 
dialysis, like literally on a weekly basis. Okay. You got to get the old blood out of there and put the new blood yeah. in so that it better aligns to your core beliefs and interests. So that way, when you do post something not true that comes from you as it should, it actually resonates with the people that are following you versus um, yeah. pissing them off. No, hundred percent. I, I, I tell people to give themselves a Facebook facelift. Like it's like a social media operation for you to look as attractive as possible. And my dad once told me, my dad was my mentor. He is my mentor. And he, he kind of said to me, Fraser, you need to tell people everything, but nothing. I said, dad, that makes absolutely no sense. How can you tell someone everything, but nothing? He said, you tell them everything about you, but you tell them nothing about what you do until they show that they're actually serious. And then you get into a situation where you're like, all right, let's actually have a conversation about this. Bang, let's go. Um, and I think what I learned a long time ago was it's not necessarily the content of the message. It's how you share it. Like, for example, um, I'll do a Facebook Live and the content will be okay. Like, you know, there's been times I've done lives and I've been like, it was okay. But people are freaking out because I'm just this energy fireball and people are like, yeah, but that's not, that's not duplicatable. I'm telling you what's duplicatable is be your flipping self because that's all I did. I just went, you know what? I'm a bit goofy. I'm a bit geeky. I'm a bit awkward. I'm a bit weird. I'm a bit British. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I do a weird things. I've got, yeah, I've got some insecurities. I lick my lips a lot, blah, blah, blah. But I'm just going to run with it. I'm just going to do what it is because I believe vulnerability and authenticity is your number one, your number one weapon on social media. It's the easiest thing for me to tell you to do, but also the hardest thing for you to actually do. But when you do it, it's a game changer. That's why Jenna does so great as well because she's just her being authentic, being real, showing up as herself and not trying to be someone else to try and impress someone else. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's just, I want to see more people authentic out there. Yeah, I really, know, really do. it takes a level of confidence, right, to be authentically you. You mean you got to have that self-love for yourself where you can say, yep, this is me, take it or leave it. You know, I'm not for everybody, I'm not everybody's cup of tea, that's fine, you know. And, and I think that's a, another reason why in our bio section, right, the, the top up left part of, the, of your profile is where you identify what you're what your posts are going to be about, right? Tell people, this is what I'm all about. I'm a mom. I'm a, you know, you know, NBC affiliate. I'm a network marketer. I'm a whatever you are that you want to identify yourself with. And maybe, you know, based on Frazier's advice, we don't want to advertise right necessarily off right off the bat who we're aligned with, but maybe your interest groups are right there. So that way when people come to your page or decide to be your friend or not, they can see quickly within four seconds if they're going to be like-minded or if they're going to like your content. Well, yeah, like, and touching on that bio, I actually, do, I've done a bunch of studies and although the profile photo and the, the cover photo is super important, the actual, the most observed part of anyone's Facebook bio is that introduction, that little 140, 160 character bio. So what I, what I would challenge you guys to do, and this is one that I really love to do, is start the bio with either what Jenna said there or go along the route of on a mission to help, boom, 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 boom. Or helping people to, boom, 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 boom. Don't write, boom, 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 boom. You, you change, boom, 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 to whatever it might be. So on a mission to help 100 families relieve stress in the, the family home, right? Or on a mission to help, boom, you, you enter whatever you want, right? On a mission to help 100 families lose 1,000 kilos in total, whatever. Because people look at that and go, I love this dude. He's on a mission. Not many people are on a mission, guys. And when your mission story is louder than your commission story, incredible things happen, right? Be known for being on a mission and not, not, just, not just the commission that comes because the commission will come based on the mission you're on. Hence why Jenna's doing so great because she's on a fucking mission, right? Yeah, so, that's yeah. great advice for sure. You know, people want to know where you're going. They don't want to know that you've just been, you know, stagnant your whole life. They want to know, what is your story? You know, in a quick nutshell, do I want to join you on this journey? I mean, think about reality TV. That's all it is, really. We're just watching somebody on their journey. Give them a reason to follow you on your journey. Give them something to look forward to, something that they can really be inspired by. And be true to your authentic self. And I think you're golden for sure. I agree completely. Like, it's just, it's everything. It's not yeah. what people do it. All right, let's move on to... Mm -hmm. We talked about mate, right? And if you guys just hop on, again, that uh, message audience timing, and that creates engagement. So write that down if you haven't written that down. Now, 
the next, my next question is how to build your following. So now that we've mm -hmm. told people who to kind of weed off of their list and, you know, to go after like-minded individuals, how do they find the masses that, you know, and you also said earlier that they've got to go out and give before they receive, right? So how can we build our following? Let's shift gears a little bit and help these people start from ground zero. Yeah, so I have something that's a little bit weird. Um, but we're being completely honest, transparent, authentic here. So I've already told you one secret. I'm going to tell you a second secret. Why not, guys? If you want to hear the secret, let me know in the comments section. I'm going to tell you anyway, but I just like getting people to engage. It's fun. So I have something called a, wow, that was, wow, that was really quick. That was quick. Think, just like that. That was like, come on, action takers okay. and what he made. And what he just did, that was another secret. You guys caught on to that, right? And that was the secret. No. Um, so, <laughs> so I have something called a dream 50, right? And my dream 50 is five different platforms, 10 different people who have my dream customer, right? So I will go out there and I will literally research podcasts, blogs, LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all the different things. And I will go and find who are the people who, if they were to post about what I'm doing, are going to actually get me customers? And I just go and be their, I just go and be their best friend. I engage on all of their posts. I message them every so often. I'm in their stories. I'm on their lives. I ask them, hey, do you want to jump on a Facebook Live with me? I ask them, hey, do you want to do a Zoom call? I ask them, hey, do you want to come to my event? I, I ask them all these different things. Because all it takes, I mean, Eric Warre, for example, a lot of people know Eric Warre. Um, he was on my Dream 50. So I just started, like, I just started communicating with communicating. And the last, like, I don't know what's happened. I don't know, like, what I've done to really make him feel special. But, like, over the last five days, he's posted a video of mine, like, every day for the last five days. It's, and I need to, like, message him to be like, Eric, what, like, what have I done? Uh, and I know, I know you love me, but like, this is like a little bit too much. This is like every video you post is on me. It's just a bit weird. Um, but that is just one of the things that I do on a daily basis because your network's your net worth, right? All it takes is one influencer to share a post of yours or to shout you out. And you've got a whole massive group and a whole new following created of an audience that's already wanting to buy your stuff, Right. So a great action step for you guys to do is go on to, go onto YouTube or go onto Instagram and search the hashtags that relate to the benefits of your product or the, or the names of your product in a way, like the, the kind of main ingredients or whatever it might be. Um, go ahead and do that and just find some people to engage with because if they love talking about certain products, then chances are they're going to love the products that you're involved in. And you never know, maybe you can get a sample out to them. You just, you just never know what can happen from it. So that's one thing. Uh, that I, I kind of, I've always done. I've, I've always enjoyed doing that. Um, the rest of it is just, again, is, is giving love everywhere and making sure at some point you become someone that some people talk about whether you're there or not. Um, I think it was Jim Rohn who said the true key to success is the number of, is, is the number of people who mention your name in their testimonials, whether you're in the room or not. And I was like, ooh, Jim. Like, that is a good nugget. Thank you very much. And the same, the same is on social media. You were saying that you go on Twitter and you make these posts. People are saying to other people, have you seen what Jenna's posted on Twitter? That was flipping gold, what she posted. I just retweeted it like 12 times in the last three minutes. It was that good. And that is just creating good content, but then also commenting in the posts of other people. And then obviously replying to the people who comment to you and have actually spending the time to build good relationships because the people you build a good relationship with, they will tell the world more about you. So yeah, that's, those are some of the things that I would do to build a following. Go live as well, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I teach the same thing, except I don't have a cool name for it like you do. So, you know, I just teach people like, what, what is your, what is, you know, what are you trying to build? Which kind of audience are you trying to build? If you're trying to build a network marketing audience, uh, then go to Fraser's page, right? And engage with him in his comments because guess what? He's already built an audience for you, right? So that's great. Go to my page, <laughs> you know, go 
get in the comments of my post because why? Because I've already built my audience for you. Go to Eric Worry's page, go to these influencers that have followings. It's, and the reason why is because their followers are going to be interested in what you're posting. If it's similar to what those influencers are posting, right? It's just natural that that would happen, especially I think on Instagram and we'll talk about, you know, different platforms here in a sec, but um, you know, on Instagram, the, you follow one person and then it pops down and says, do you also want to follow these people? Because these are also like people in the same kind of categories. Yes, I do want to follow them. And I, you know what? I also want to follow all their followers as well, because guess what? They're going to want my content because it's all the same. So that's using network marketing as an example. If you're selling surfboards, then obviously go look up the top surfboard, you know, companies out there and engage with those people. Because if you start selling some surfboards, you're going to have a pre-built audience of people ready to buy. So it's exactly what Fraser just said, spot on. He called that dream 50. So I guess the goal here is to get 50 centers of influence that you can kind of align yourself to, right? And you know what, Janet, like 50, as you know, 50 is like, when you start writing them down, you'll be like, oh, this is really difficult. Like, I can only get like six. But then when you start being aware of it, you end up having like 500 and you're like, whoa, like this is kind of crazy. But then you get to choose. You're like, huh, my pond, my pool is pretty big here. Like, let's go. Because guys, not everyone's going to want to like, you know, not everyone on your list is going to want to be your friend or promote you or help you or whatever. But you only need, you only need a handful. And it, honestly, things just completely change for you. Um, and you know, once you've got a following, you've always got the following, right? Even if you do something that's going to offend someone, like some of the following are going to be like, yeah, my great post, love that. Right. And the people who don't, you're just constantly weeding out the weak followers. Right. And you just stay with it. Like a core group of super fans who just absolutely love you no matter what. And they're, they're your second family. They're everything. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and on the flip side, like before I had a following and I was, I was just implementing these techniques, I did the exact same thing. Also in my business, same thing. I literally, you guys, speaking of Eric Ori, I did a, like a, almost like a book report. Okay. I read chapter two of his GoPro book and I wrote it all up. Like I did a post on it. It's fantastic. And I said, man, these are, you know, great, you know, strategies we can use in our business. I tagged Eric. This is years and years ago. He doesn't even remember that this was me. He knows me now because we're neighbors. Um, <laughs> you know, but he shared it on his wall. I'm a little peon at the time. I have no following, nothing, but because I'm saying, well done, Eric, look at how much I learned from your content. I'm edifying him, right? He's like, yeah, I'm going to put that. I'm going to put that on my wall. Cause that makes me look really good. Right? So he puts it on his wall and what happens? I get a thousand followers like that instantly. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing how that works. It really is. I mean, like, do, just do Shout Out Sunday. Just go shout out your influencers on a Sunday. Like, there you go. There's, go ahead and do that from now on. <laughs> it's simple. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's, let's shift gears here into other social media platforms. We know Facebook's King Kong, but what is your you know, opinion on using you know, multiple platforms? And what is the key to kind of leveraging different platforms? Yeah. So this is an interesting one because it depends on where you're at in your business. Um, if you are someone who is building a great business and, and you get social media, then using Instagram as well as Facebook is awesome. Doing great reviews of the products and your company on YouTube is awesome. Writing a blog post is awesome. Going on TikTok and I don't know, I don't even know like dancing in front of people, like it's kind of awesome. Going on LinkedIn, amazing. But if you're just starting, just master one, like master Facebook, generate, like master the art of generating leads and turning strangers into friends, friends into family, because that's what network marketing is simplified, is turning strangers into friends, friends into family. That's, that's your job. Master it on Facebook first, then go ahead and, and learn YouTube or Instagram and all that sort of stuff. Don't get overwhelmed with having to, oh, but, but everyone else is doing it. I'm getting left behind. Like, but, no, 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 because then you won't be able to master anything and you'll be overwhelmed and you'll be like, Urgh. so Facebook first, then probably Instagram after that, then maybe LinkedIn after that. And then after that, you can go into the TikTok, whatever you want to call it these days, the Snapchats, the MySpaces, the 
AOL messengers, the, I don't even know, like askjeeves.com. I don't even know what, what's still going these days. It changes all the time. But yeah, principles, we trust the principles. Are the principles that Jenna teaches, that I teach, they work and they will always work, right? Turn a stranger into friend, friend and family. Create content, communicate with other people, see who's open, bang, introduce. They say yes, they say no, that's a principle. We trust that. However, we need to test different systems and different tools um, to see you know, what's gonna work and, and, and what's not. Telegram, someone just mentioned Telegram. I, like, I've been, I was stalking Jenna since we chatted. I decided to go on a stalk session of her and now she's on the Dream 50. Uh, just to let you know, June 51, Jenny, you'll be happy to know you've got that additional spot. I'm kidding. We actually have. So I was talking, I was like, what's this? She's, she's pushing Telegram. What's this all about? So I was like, so oh, that. I'm not letting Jenna have all the fun. I'm going to start Telegram too. Let's go. So now all these people are messaging me like, is Telegram the next big thing? Is Telegram the next big thing? Is I mean, I, I don't know. I'm just like following what Jenna's doing. She seems to be doing it. And I've seen her channel. It's pretty flipping good. It's not very overwhelming. So that's another platform, but again, me and Jenna are in a different situation that you might, you might be in. So learn one, master one, eventually you'll be able to cross platform uh, and everything kind of, everything kind of is, is good from that. But yeah, Facebook's always getting caught, in my opinion. Yeah, and just to, you know, kind of, I see some questions coming in. What's Telegram? It's just an app that they have a desktop version as well as a, you know, an app version for your phone. And it's just like a group chat, but you can also create a channel, right? So if your Facebook page is your channel, you could create your own channel so that people have a place to follow you. If God forbid Facebook crashes or something that's happened before. I mean, you've got your list right there, just saved right into your phone. So Jenna, you know, Jenna how, how do people, how do people find you on there? How do, how do people find your channel? Because your the stuff you're putting out is great. Yeah, it. I don't have a custom link for it yet, but I'm gonna get one now that I am aware <laughs> of that. Uh, oh, but uh, I will post it in the comments here after the video, and I'll make sure you guys have that. Love that for sure. Love it. Oh, and just to clarify, really quick on Telegram, the channels is where you're posting content only. Nobody can chat, but within the channel, you can create a group chat where people mm -hmm. can share what you've just said and converse and have a, you know, an actual two way chat happening in there. So. And it's, and it's not owned by Facebook. So if Facebook right. decides to kind of go like, bye. And it's, um, <laughs> and it's encrypted. There we go. Thank you very much. I like that. Yeah. That's awesome. Sure. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> so moving right along, um, before I ask my last question for you, I just want to let you guys know, I did promise a $5,000 giveaway. Right. You guys remember that. Okay. So here's how to qualify for this $5,000 giveaway. I understand these are hard times for people right now. And if they're not fantastic, I'm glad that you're weathering the storm, but uh, let's just be, I'm going to be a giver. I want to give that money out to you guys. So I'm going to offer $5,000 and instead of giving $5,000 to one person, what I'm going to do is break it up into five people that can win. So five people can get a thousand dollars each. And here's, how you can be entered into this drawing. You have to share this video, okay? But before you share the video, you've gotta make it public, okay? Because if you only share it to your friends, I'm not gonna be able to see it. Because if we don't, if I'm not a friend with you or have a mutual friend with Frazier, I'm not gonna be able to pull your name from that share. So make sure you make it public and share it to your timeline, share it to your group. If you share it multiple times, obviously your name's gonna appear multiple times in the drawing. So I will pull that list at the end of this week on Friday. So two days from now. So we've got two days to share this video to get this out to whoever you think will be interested in learning, you know, social media, share it into social media groups, maybe. I don't know. And Jenna, and Jenna yeah. for the person who puts the best description, right? For the person who puts the best description, tag me and Jenna in it. I'll give another thousand as well. So I'll find, I'll, I'll get the person who has the, best description i'm going to read a bunch of them especially if you tag me and jenna and the one who's just impressed me the most there we go we'll do it there you heard okay so he's gonna also add his thousand dollars on top for the best description of the share so now you guys are not only incentivized to share it but to put some thought into what you're sharing so that we actually get people to watch this video right otherwise they just you know just another share no we don't we want it to be a meaningful share right so yeah. Yeah. That's happening Friday. I don't know what time specifically yet, mostly because the times are all different of 
all of us <laughs> right now, okay? Plus, it's gonna take my assistant some time to go through all these shares, but I will pick a winner on Friday. And Frazier, I'll let you pick the winner of the best description uh, as well on Friday. Yeah, okay. I might have just, I might have just, I might have just lost my Friday. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Everything's great. Um, yeah, no, we'll we'll figure that out. Yeah, for sure. And I'll let you know. For sure. All right, last question. We're gonna wrap this up, you guys. This is something I get asked all the time because Facebook is such a distracting place for people, especially now, right? I mean, we're all individual news reporters right now. It's outrageous. But, mm -hmm. you know, how do I hop on Facebook? What, what are the daily, what's my daily method of operation? I want to be a social media marketer. I want to start a business, you know, right now. I can do that for free, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say I want to start my free business into this network marketing uh, industry, what do I do on a daily basis to work as a network marketer using social media? Good question. Yeah. Oh, beauty. So the first thing is your list has got to keep growing. Like if your list is growing, your business has no limit. And if your business has no limit, your income has no limit. If your income has no limit, your impact has no limit. Right. And no limit is sexy. Like it's sexy because it's, you don't know where it's going to end. It's like, this is amazing. Like, if, imagine this, right? Imagine if 1st of January, your boss comes in and says, listen, this year you're going to make $25,000. To me, that is the most depressing thing someone can ever say to me. Because it's like, you're not going to make a single penny more than that. Now imagine this, 1st of January, Jenna comes in and says, listen, you have the potential to make whatever you want. Now you might be thinking like, oh, but I need that 25,000 guaranteed, otherwise uh, but the entrepreneur in you should be like, let's go. Like, this could be anything. I mean, you're, like, you've proven it can be anything, right? Like, this could be anything. Like, let's do this. So your list has to grow every single day. So here's what I do. I have a system called FAM, which is short for the word family. Now, in the UK, the cool kids are like, yeah, FAM, just going to go see my FAM. Like, I'm not that cool, though, so I just say I'm going to go see my family. But, like, having an acronym for family, it just it doesn't work as well as FAM. So FAM is find, add, message, right? Do it every day. You find Jenna. You add Jenna. You message Jenna. You find Bob in a dog lover group. You add Bob, and then you message Bob, letting him know why you're adding him. Not find Bob, add Bob. Pray to Mr. and Mrs. Universe that Bob's going to see your Facebook friend request, see your Facebook lives that you just did, saw that you're involved in an amazing company, then message you saying, oh, hey, thanks for the friend request. I've just seen your live. You're amazing. Here's my money. Like, no. Action marketing is better than attraction marketing, right? The word action is in the word attraction. Now, attraction marketing is great. You can get some stuff from that, but don't leave it. Don't let, you, don't let your business growth be determined on your posts that you're creating. So step one. Find that message. Now, how many should I do? People say, what's the magic number? There isn't a number. The equation is for you to not get blocked on social media is the speed at which you're doing it and the level of connection that you have with that person. Example, if me and Jenna have, we love dogs in common, we love network marketing in common, we love personal development in common, we love traveling, we have travel in common, and then I message her, it's going to be okay. And if there's 20 people like Jenna, there's not, but if there's 20 people like Jenna, then I can do that. I should be okay. If I then decide to send a copy and paste message to 20 people who I have zero things in common, we don't live in the same country, we don't have any interests, we have no mutual friends, Facebook are going to be right on Twitch straight away. Okay? So pick your number, stick to it, go one, two, three, four, five a day, do it every single day. Don't have a day off. Oh, but I don't work Sundays. Go to the toilet when you're on a Sunday because toilet time happens every day. Doesn't have a day off. Oh, it's Sunday. Oh, I don't feel like going to the toilet today. No, no. You go to the toilet every single day. Get your phone out. Bang. Done my fan. Let's go. So find our message. First thing I would do. Second, by the way, I speak very quickly. I know I get really passionate and excited about this sort of stuff. If you actually see me face to face, then I'm way faster than this. All right. So second thing is see if people are open. Right. So you've, you find that message to grow your list. Then you need to ask people on that list, like, hey, just curious, would you be open to checking out some more information on a game-changing product I'm using? No worries if not, I just thought I would ask. Or, hey, Bob, just curious, would you be open to checking out some more information on how to make money on social media? No worries if not, just thought I would ask. By the way, I'm looking at Bob, that's Bob right now. 
Um, just looking at him. So that's what I would do. That I would find, I would grow my list every day, and I would see who's open every day. Then the third thing I'd do is follow up with the people who haven't replied. I've seen my message but not messaged me back, or I've seen the information and haven't given me a yes or no answer. On top of that, I might do some Facebook posts. I might engage in a group, but for me, the money is in the messenger. So I want to make sure I'm messaging people to connect, messaging people to see if they're open, and messaging people to follow up. If I am not doing those three things, I am not going to build a business. So what, 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 would, you, like, what would you do? What would, you, what would you be your recommendations when it comes to that? Yeah, I mean, same thing. It's, it's all about taking action. If you're not building your list, if you're not prospecting, if you're not actively you know, getting people to take a look at your business opportunity, you're not doing your job. You're just logging into Facebook and messing around. Like literally, if you're planning your entire business over just, or around just, just being the trainer, for instance, some of us want to go straight into training mode without actually building first. But John Maxwell says the third level of leadership is production. So we need to be focusing on our production before we get into training and management mode, right? So, you know, absolutely spot on, Frazier. You got to get in that messenger, you know, don't be afraid to use the voice audio. Don't be afraid, you know, to, to do a message and a comment on the same person's page, because at first you're a stranger, right? Absolutely. They're not going to know who you are at first, but if they see your name and their notifications repeatedly, you know, at least 20 times. And I don't mean all at once. Like don't be the guy that gives you 20 <laughs> notifications back to back. Cause then, yeah, you know, I'm going to tell you like, it's a little creepy, but I do, if you do that to me, I do go to your page. So it is kind of effective. I'm like, <laughs> not for me. Like, I will go to see what you're all about if you do that. But, uh, you know, don't, <laughs> don't be crazy stalker, but build a relationship. And there's different ways you can build a relationship. Messenger, comments, out giving your competition, like out giving, give free value, put value on your page. That's going to be relevant for people that are following you. You know, some of us want to go straight into, you know, uh, it's going to cost you, you know, $5 to speak to me <laughs> or, you know, uh, you know, whatever. We want to start charging people for all this like advice we have. No, give value for free first and focus on how you can put that out there so get, because the more value you put out there for free is going to come back to you. That's going to create that, you know, attraction back to you. But I love what you said. Action is more, action marketing is more effective than attraction marketing. You know, you could do them at the same time, but definitely don't hesitate to take that action every single day. That is how you build your business. That's what you should be doing on a daily basis. Scrolling, you don't get paid for that. You're not going to get paid for that. Your bank account's going to still be a zero from scrolling all day. So you've got to be actively taking those steps to build your business if you want to make this work for you in the network marketing industry. So last thing before we wrap this up, you guys, Fraser, your books are amazing. How do we buy your books? Because some of us are watching and we think you're smart now. We agree that you know what you're talking about. How can we get some information on, uh, on the rest of what's in your brain? <laughs> How do we buy your book? So it's the glasses and the accent. Those are the two things to make yourself appear smart, right? Uh, but I have them here. I have two books. One's called I Dare You. And I couldn't figure out a name for the second one. So I just called it I Double Dare You. Uh, so these are books. This is if you want to recruit people on social media, this is if you want to create duplication on social media. So there's scripts, strategies, systems, etc. You can go to phrasesbook.com. Uh, that's F R A Z E R S B double O K.com. So I'll put it in the, the zoom chat here. Phrases. It's going to be too fast because you guys are going nuts on the comments. Phrasesbook.com. You can go ahead and get that. I'm sure someone can screenshot it, save it help other people get it if they didn't get it. Um, but yeah, if you, did, if you didn't get it, get it from a friend, uh, phrasesbook.com. I appreciate all the people who commented it in there as well. Thank you guys. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. So guys, run out, go grab his book. And then also, just so you guys know, until May 1st, it is free to join My Daily Choice as an affiliate. So get with the person who shared this video. If you're an affiliate, get with the person in the comments if you can discover that they're an affiliate and, uh, and get started on your business today. There's no time like the present. And today is the day to get involved and do something with your situation. So thank you guys for hopping on. Frazier, it's been amazing chatting with you today. Thank you for taking the time. I know it's some crazy hour where you're at now, but we appreciate you. And uh, thank you guys. Appreciate, I appreciate you too. All right, guys, see you soon. Go crush it. Go make great things happen and stay safe. Bye-bye.